Hi, we got an order from Misfits Market today and I've never made an unboxing video before, but I thought I would do that. Let's see how it goes. I believe this is only a produce and grocery um, order and not one of the cold pack orders. I have done those, a couple of them before, but I don't think I've done a grocery only order before and so I wanna see how things arrive, what they look like. So let's take a look. All right, so there's the abundance of packaging. Oh, there is a nice pack. That's, I'd say, 75% frozen still. Okay, set that aside. To it. First off, we have some blue corn tortillas that I ordered. They look pretty good. I look forward to making food with them. I don't know. Usually I make burritos for my husband, so um, it'll probably be a burrito, but on a blue corn tortilla. Here we have some grape tomatoes. They look, you know, the packaging's a little smushed, but they look pretty good. Yes. Order for my kiddo. Love salty food. Salty food. This is both. Uh, one-handed. Let's see if I can do it. Darn, there's my hand. My wrist. There we go. Okay, organic strawberries. Actually, those look good. If I wash them up and get them in a glass jar, those will probably keep for a little while. The fish is great. So far, it looks pretty good. Ah, now we have some rougher looking stuff. Okay, so that's a cabbage. Well, just some of the outer leaves that got banged up, but actually that looks pretty good. It feels fairly firm. It's not soft or squishy. All right. I did, whoa, uh-oh, now it's gonna be bruised. I did order some organic pears. It looks like one, two, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll have to inspect each of them, but they look they mostly look okay. I'm being slow here. I'm running out of room on the counter. mostly superficial markings. That one looks really good. That one looks pretty good too. And lastly, this one that looks yeah, again, most of these appear to be superficial. That's why they're misfits, I guess. Okay, and we have a bag of organic red potatoes. That's a sort of a preview in the side of the bag there. I don't see any sprouting potatoes, so that's encouraging. Side looks okay. I'm gonna go on a limb and say those are probably okay. Whoa! And there's one white onion. That looks 
fine. Got our second white onion. That looks very nice. And we've got three sweet potatoes down here, or yams, I don't remember. Can somebody tell me the difference? I don't know. Okay, there's one. There's the second. It's kind of shaped like an S. And here's the third. It seems to be very superficial. I don't see any soft spots or anything. And those two, I'm gonna have to use that pretty soon. Okay, so far I'd say things are looking really good overall. So here are some green onions or scallions. I'm a little sad that only three of them have the root on them because I do like to try and regrow um, my scallions or green onions, but that's okay, that's three to work with. I don't know. Maybe they can be regrown without that. Maybe if I put them in water, they'll grow more roots, but I, I haven't tried that. And we've got how many ounces? Boy, it's hard to read through there. 28 ounces of peanut butter. Usually we just get like the very natural kind that you have to stir um, because this does have a little bit of sugar in it, um, but I did buy this to specifically um, bake with, so for making peanut butter cookies for my kiddo. If I can find somewhere to put it. Okay, and then we have a carrot bunch. There they are. They look like they were in the ground a little too long. They were growing a lot of little root hairs along the sides. But I did get carrots one other time from Misfits and they still tasted pretty good. Um, so they'll probably be okay. My daughter really only likes the very, very sweet carrots. She's very particular. Um, and we find that the ones in the grocery store have been around for so long and they're not very sweet tasting a lot of times. So anyway, hopefully these are a little sweeter, fresher than the grocery store ones. Oh, I guess I guess this was what was holding the carrots together, but no longer. And I think this is last. Aha, this is red wine vinegar. I had completely forgotten that I purchased red wine vinegar. But there's no liquid, so I'm guessing it is intact. And that is the entirety of my Misfits Market box for this time. I do not order weekly. I'm still not sure if it's worth the money. Um, I think this is the third box that I've gotten. The other two have had cold packs. Um, actually been pretty pleased with the with the meat that I've gotten from Misfits, but um, I still think it's a little bit pricey, but convenient, very convenient, I will say that, especially with it being difficult to find things at the grocery store. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, and let me know um, if you have any questions about any of the things that I took out of the box any of the things that I ordered, or if you have any questions about Misfits Market, I'm not being paid to advertise for them. Like I said, I'm still on the fence about whether or not it's a great deal. Um, I just am doing it at the moment because life has been very, very crazy and I can't always get to the store to get fresh produce. And, um, and a lot of times it's been hard to find meats that we like. So I've been using it as a supplemental um, grocery source just in the last month or so. But again, not totally sure if I love them. Anyway, and hey, if you have any recipe ideas, any thoughts for um, things that I can make with all this stuff, let me know that too. <laughs> okay, bye for now.